हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू द अर्सूज टेक्निकल कैंपस वी हैव स्टार्टेड अवर सेकंड सेमेस्टर सब्जेक्ट दैट इज कंट्रोल सिस्टम फर्स्ट इन दैट इन प्रीवियस लेक्चर वी हैव सीन इंट्रोडक्शन ऑफ कंट्रोल सिस्टम इन दैट वी हैव सीन व्हाट इज द कंट्रोल सिस्टम व्हिच सिस्टम इज कॉल्ड एज अ कंट्रोल सिस्टम व्हाट आर द टाइप्स ऑफ कंट्रोल सिस्टम इन दैट इन देयर आर two types in that we have seen which system is called as a closed loop system and which system is called as a open loop uh, open loop system so let's revise we can um, make a difference table for that two system so first one uh, first control system was open loop system open loop system and second was closed loop system it is very important in exam you also get the question on uh, control system that is either explain open loop system or closed uh, loop system or either difference give the difference between open loop system and closed loop system so what is the first point we have seen which system is called as open loop system the open loop system is a system which in which controlling action is totally independent of the uh, output this is we have seen this is uh, this was a block diagram so here an closed loop system is the system in which our uh, controlling action is dependent on the output because from here output is given to the input through sensor so from this we make the first difference that is here no feedback is present here and in this output is given to input that's why here feedback is exist and feedback elements are present here this is the first difference by point here no feedback hence feedback element is absent as controlling action is not dependent on the output here so feedback is not present here feedback is present because controlling action is dependent on the output feedback exist hence feedback element are present here here feedback is present here no error in open loop system no error det detector is present because feedback is absent here and in this as controlling action is dependent on the output output is given to the input and there is a whatever error uh, get generated get corrected in the closed loop system so error detector is present now third point is as here no error detector is present it is inaccurate system whatever output we get in open loop system is not accurate so it is inaccurate system and it is accurate system so next is it is stable system it is unstable because error is generated so it is it become may become unstable last point is you may give example so open loop system example are coffee maker toaster and closed loop system example are missile temperature control of oven control of oven etc so this is some few points uh, about open loop system and closed loop system so this is all about control system now today we will see the next point that is transfer function transfer function 
and mathematical modeling. So first thing, definition of transfer function. Transfer function. So it is defined, it is one of the ratio of output and input. Simply it is the ratio of output and input. But there is a some change. Output here we have to take the Laplace transfer of output and Laplace transfer of input. So what will be the definition of transfer function? It is ratio of Laplace transform of output. Means whatever output is present we have to take first Laplace transform of that output and input and then we have to take the ratio to the Laplace transform of input under the assumption that initial condition are zero zero so this is the definition it is very important so it is the ratio of laplace transform simply remember that it is a ratio of output and input but we have to take the laplace transform of output and laplace transform of input so simply we can write it transfer function that t dot f is equal to laplace l stand for laplace transfer of output that is c of t and laplace transfer of input that is r of t in initial condition r 0 So, L stand for Laplace transform in control system. Output is represented by C of T. C of T and input is represented by R of T. So, this is very simple. It is nothing but the ratio of Laplace transform of output to the Laplace transform of input. So, after taking Laplace transform, it may convert it into, you can write as transfer function is equal to C of S divided by R of S. After taking Laplace transform, time domain is converted into S domain. That's why here S is come. So, you can write like this that is L R of T or instead that you can directly write C of S upon R of S. So this S C of S upon R of S. This S indicate that it is the Laplace transform of output to the Laplace transform of input. Laplace transform of output. This is Laplace transform of in instead of writing L R of T you can directly write C of S upon R of S so this is all about the definition of transfer function it is very important in exam you may get question on define the transfer function now next point is poles and zeros Poles and zeros. So, which we have to uh, find the poles and zeros which are present in transfer function. So, let's see the first uh, which one is called as a poles and which ones are called as a zero. So, first write down the transfer function. So, transfer function is equal to 
c of s upon r of s it is in the form of k s minus b1 s minus b2 s minus b3 if we s minus a1 s minus a2 up to s minus a n s minus b n so this is the transfer function we have to find poles and zeros so first see what is poles and what is zeros so first is poles so which values of the laplace transform all are called poles so let's see the definition poles of the transfer function are the values of laplace transform of variable that causes transfer function to become infinitive means infinitive means those value of last laplace transform of variable because of that this transfer function value will get will become infinitive so we know that in the ratio when the value will become infinitive when base will be zero after that one divided by anything zero it will get converted into infinity so means to find the poles we have to equate denominator to zero then and then only the transfer function will become infinity so first write down the definition means poles of transfer function are the values of laplace transform of variable variable that causes transfer function to become infinity so this is very important while finding poles transfer function will become infinity so what is the meaning of this are the values of laplace transform of variable means this value this is s s1 s2 and that's that values of variable we have to find so when transfer function will become zero if we equate denominator to zero we obtain the pole of the system we simply remember that for finding poles you have to equate denominator value to the zero because after equating denominator to zero then and then transfer function will become zero so here our transfer function is k s minus b1 s minus b2 up to s minus bn to that s minus a1 s minus a2 up to s minus an so when this transfer function will become zero uh, infinity when we equate the, uh, this denominator to zero that is s minus a1 equal to zero s minus a2 equal to zero so we get the value that is s is equal to a1 s is equal to a2 like that so whenever you get the question that is find the poles of the transfer function you have to equate the denominator to zero and you will get the poles value that is this is first pole value this is second pole value another is poles are represented by cross sign so on uh, imaginary plane if you if you uh, if you uh, if you have to draw the pole zero diagram 
that time on diagram you have to represent the pole by cross sign now next point is zeros of the zero we have to find the zero of transfer function so simply like poles zeros or the uh, zeros of transfer function are the values of laplace transform variable that causes transfer function to become zero means for finding pole uh, sorry for finding zero transfer function value should become to zero and when it will become zero when we equate numerator to zero when we take numerator value zero the transfer function automatically become zero so zeros of transfer function are the values of laplace transform of variable that causes transfer function to become zero so here very important for finding the zero transfer function become zero and for finding poles transfer function become infinity so when transfer function will become zero if we equate denominator to sorry numerator to zero if we equate numerator to zero we get zeros of transfer function that means here if it is transfer function that is k s minus b1 s minus b2 up to s minus b n after that s minus a1 s minus a2 up to s minus a n in this for becoming transfer function zero we have to equate that numerator to zero that is s minus b1 equal to zero s minus b2 equal to zero so this is the about zero so as poles are represented by cross sign in this zeros are represented by circle that is this empty circle so this is very important so very simple concept that is poles uh, how to find the poles for finding poles transfer function should become infinity and when it will become infinity we have to equate denominator to zero after that poles are represented by cross sign next is zeros when we obtain zeros for obtaining zero transfer function become zero when it will become zero when we equate the numerator value to zero and it is represented by circle so this is all about transfer function and poles and zero and in next lecture we will see the example related to finding poles and zeros of the transfer function thank you